Hi, greeting and welcome to a captivating session of technical talk with Brajesh. In this video, we will discuss one of the IBM Watson service that is natural language understanding. Natural language understanding is applied across various domain industries including customer service, healthcare, finance, legal, e-commerce and many more. It enhances the ability of computer to interact with the human in more natural and meaningful way. I will demonstrate you how to set up NLU and how to use NLU. To see here, before you begin, you need to open IBM Cloud Portal as you can see on the screen. Here you need to create the service first. Okay, so here if you see the hamburger menu on the top, just click on here. Just go a little bit down. You can see the Watson. Just click on that Watson. Now here in this dashboard, you can see all the services what IBM Watson provides us. Watson Assistant, Studio, Discovery and many more here. But in this video, we target for natural language understanding. These other services will cover up in our next video. But here the target is cover up this NLU. So now we need to see how to set up NLU and how to use this one. So here you can see start free plan or try demo. You can see start free plan. Just click here. You need to select your reason. You need to create instance name. You can say demo and LU. Default resource group is there and click on create. Once you click on create, that service instance is created for you. As you can see on your screen, yep, the service is created for you. And in this dashboard, you can see here some tabs are there like manage getting started service credential plan and connection so these are the details what you can see here in the manage tab you can see the api key and url just copy this api key and url because one this api key and url what we're going to use it whenever we're trying to interact with nlu services okay the second tab is getting started here you can see the steps what we need to do when you're trying to access these nlu services Okay, service credential that what we created by default here. The plan, what's plan? Right now, my current plan is light because the free version. If you want to upgrade the plan, you can choose the standard one. And this is the costing, right? Okay, so let's stick with your free version here. Okay, and here in this demo, I'm trying to interact with uh, NLU services through curl command. You can use any other language according to your, you know, competency. Like, for example, if you're familiar with Java, .NET, Python, and Node, you can use that language as well to interact with this one. But I'm using just curl command here just for demonstration purpose. At the end of the video, I'll show you like how you can use the different, different language and interact with the same. Okay, so here we have two scenario. NLU is basically used for analyzing the data. OK, so natural language understanding is used for analyzing the data. We can analyze the data two way here in this demo. The one we just pass the text. As you can see here, the second one, we can pass some URL, HTML URL is that. And based on that is auto call command automatically get fetch all the content from the HTML. And based on that, you know, they analyze the data. OK, so case first where we are analyzing data based on the text. You can see the curl command here. So this is the way how to write the curl command. So curl x post u and API key. You can see here API key. The header is there. Data is here. Okay. So data we are just passing this text and we say okay this is the feature what we want to see. That is sentiments. We want to see the keywords. Okay. And here you can see the URL. So these two places what we need to replace with these details. So copy this API key, go here, just paste it, okay, go here also, I'll just do both the way so that's easy for us. Just copy this one and uh, again go here, replace this URL, okay, replace this URL, cool, and also replace here too because that is also we are going to use next one okay now you can see here now just copy this curl command just copy it 
and just open CMD. Okay, and before trying with curl command, just make sure the curl is installed on your system. See this one, you need to run this command. Oh, sorry, curl, curl hyphen V. Okay, and you can see it seems like okay, so curl is installed in my system. And if it's not installed in your system, you can jump to this URL curl.se and you can download it and it work for you. Okay, so now I just copy this one, the first case. Okay, and so once you copy that curl command, just paste it here, hit enter. Now you can see here, based on your data, right, based on your text, what I'm passing here I love apple I don't like oranges and these are the features so we are looking for the sentiments and all right so these all the details when we interact with natural language understanding API this will return these details here so what is sentiments here the target like apple orange is there we are not talking about broccoli and all you can see here the broccoli is also there right so apple because you said you like apple you love apple you don't like oranges based on that the guys say the guys give you some score and level is the positive this is a neutral because you don't like it okay and if you go a little bit down they can also see okay the language is English because whatever the text we are passing that is English language natural language understanding also support multi many more language as well so based on that is automatically identify the language then this this is the keywords you can see here apple oranges and all and relevance is their emotions here right they capture all the emotion all there so in this is the way right how you can analyze the data based on what input you provide here so this is the first case is here okay the second case we are going to use and we copy the same curl command here but in this time what we do we are passing the url if you see here so instead of passing text we said url so this is the url we are passing it here so i just clear it out and paste one more time so this time i'm passing this url and click enter now you can see here what is inside the url you can see here so this is the url what i pass it and here we have a you know lot data here a lot of data here as you can see so what happened when you say curl command here it will capture all the details from the HTML okay and return and analyze the data and return the response according to that so you can see here the user sentiments is there this is a positive okay retrieval URL so this is the URL what we passed it language again English and keyword so whatever keywords we use it on that particular text they analyze it and mention it here with relevance percentages store and count is there like how many times we use it it's like count two one or something like that if you go a little bit more down you can see entities are here if you go a little bit more down you can see categories concept so these all the details they analyze from your content what we provided as an input and based on that they analyze it and response back to us and if you see here when we pass this URL, right, we said what we needed actually. So the features, what we needed, we need sentiments, we want categories, we want concept, entities, and keyword. That what we provide, what we need as an output. So based on that, they analyze data and return these as an output. If you don't want entities, you can remove from here. Entity will not return back from them. So this is the way how you can interact with natural language API using curl command. If you're trying to use like .NET or you know your preferred language Java or maybe you know Python and all, you can use it here. You can go to this URL and here you can see the Java. So if you are familiar with Java and you want to use Java, you can click the Java and here they will see okay what dependency you need to add it here. Okay, the Gradle GitHub URL is there and if you go a little bit down, they also showcase you okay what kind of property we have. You can see here the text analysis feature, right? Analytics feature, the categories, classification, concept, emotion, entities. That what I'll just showcase you uh 
in here the curl command right what we need it just mention it here there so whenever you're using it you can see what is the request option you want it right you can see and what the entity response will get back so these are the details what you can see what the endpoint url is there and if you see here these are the some endpoint url is there based on which reason you are targeting for so suppose for example you are using dallas then okay this is the url washington this url is there london this url is there so based on that url is also changed so you make sure which url you are targeting for how you can pass the data and these all details you can see here and if you are familiar with node you can see the node here also like how you can interact with data what library we need it that they already clear here you can see here ibm watson 7.1 version is there so this is the way right how you can choose your language how you can interact with natural language understanding services and you call the api and you can and you can see how to analyze the data so this is pretty much about natural language understanding how to set up and how to interact with that